We're going to go through the steps to connect your timer using iOS. A few things you'll need before you get started is you'll need your phone or your tablet, and you'll need the timer, of course, and you'll need to know your Wi-Fi's network name and the Wi-Fi password that you use to connect to it, and your zip code to get started. So we're going to go ahead, this timer is already in pairing mode, which it is straight out of the box, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi signal is emitting upwards and the app is we're going to is, is loaded. We're going to go ahead and, and create a new account. Fill in all your information. The same. Once you've entered in all your information, you'll have to accept the end user license agreement. You have to scroll all the way to the bottom. You get the accept button. Go ahead and accept that agreement. Now the app is prompting us to check the Wi-Fi signal strength. Uh, basically, if your phone has your Wi-Fi connection, it's probably strong enough. And go ahead and say okay. okay. So we now we're going to pair the, the phone and the timer together so that we can connect the timer to the internet. So we say open settings. Tap the settings button, scroll up to Wi-Fi, and we look for the timer's connection. It starts with the Orbit Smart Home. Select that. Once it's connected, yeah, up here at the very top, back to Orbit Beehive app. Now the app is connecting to the timer, and the timer is giving the app a list of Wi-Fi hotspots. So we select our hotspot that we're going to connect to, and we enter the password. The password entered, the timer begins to connect to the internet. Once the icon stops blinking, we know it has a good solid internet connection. And the app and the phone will have to go back to its original setting once you have your connection back and the app detects that the timer was connected, you'll proceed to the next step where we enter in the post your postal code.